Let's legend. check in, speaking of the Galaxy's Edge, with our own Melissa Paul. Melissa, what an amazing place. I'm so excited to, you're bringing this all to us a day early from when the public gets to see it. Yes, no, we are. And you know, it is absolutely incredible, Melissa. I know we got to show you the Millennium Falcon mm -hmm. off the top, and then we talked about the concept here of the planet of Batu. Um, but my buddy Eddie here is going to really help us understand the interactivity, the experience oh, yes. when you come here to Batu, because there are residents that live here. And did you notice yes. our, our, our strong stance our off the top? Our resistance stance. Our resistance stance, because yes. we are both selecting the side <laughs> of the resistance. Absolutely. Um, yes, see, he's even got his emblem there. Uh, so the resistance is here on Batu. Yes. Uh, the, and so the, the first order. First order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. we're in that section of the land okay. right now. And I mean, this is an incredible planet because of the fact that there is so much going on. Mm -hmm. Right now, the stormtroopers are behind us. Yeah. They sometimes will come up to you. They'll okay. ask you for ID. Mm. They'll question your loyalty because they think that you are loyal to the first order. Yes. So you've got to be very careful. And obviously, I mean, this kind of blends in a little bit and we've got our backs to them. So yes, we're but, kind of okay right now. But you do have a sign that says yeah, resistance. It's the like, same right. You color. literally are I wearing your heart kinda, on your sleeve, Eddie. I am, I know. <laughs> it's a little orange on the inside, but you know, we'll... They, uh, they are uh, uh. looking at us. So. Right. And, and we're standing in front of... Yes, we're actually standing in front of one of the spaceships here. This this ship mm -hmm. is one of the TIE echelons. And so this is TIE stands for Twin Ion Engine. And this TIE fighter here is pretty unbelievable. It has landed here. And as you can see, stormtroopers come out. And then before you know it, they start walking around Batu, mm -hmm. And they're going up to everybody, questioning them. And uh, while you're walking around, you're actually getting a chance to visit some unbelievable locations. Oh, yes. so you can also get away from them. Okay, good. So you can go kind of hide, maybe like, you know, yes. the cantina over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good so, choice. Now, now, just feet away here, yes. this is where you try the blue milk that Luke Skywalker yes. had in episode four, which is awesome. It's absolutely did fantastic. It? I did. Good. Yeah, there's like a nice little coconut kind of citrusy flavor, which is phenomenal. And by yes. the way, I have to tell you um, that it is also, it's vegan. It is. Which is exciting <laughs> for some is. of our viewers, I'm including too. myself. I know. Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, hang on a second. Speaking of blue milk, okay. <clears throat> just that calmly. Uh, uh, hey, hi. we're good guys. Yep, we're just um, hanging out talking. Yep, we're explaining to her about the First Order and yep. how uh, yep. okay. everything's really all in order. Yeah, we're good? Yep. Okay, good, good. Okay. Awesome. The, awesome. They're going to be you. watching us. All right, yeah. so, okay, I feel like kind of looking yeah. over. So I'm, I'm feeling, I'm little feeling ominous. a little bit, it's very ominous. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling, Eddie, a little bit of that, uh, of that kind of edge here, you know, between the resistance camp, which I know is at the front of yes. this, because this is 14 yes. acres. It is 14 acres. This now, is Now, this huge. is definitely, this is the biggest, this is the biggest undertaking that we've actually done here at Disneyland Park here in Anaheim. But the coolest thing is the technology behind it. It is so technologi technologically advanced that as you're walking around, best thing to do is download the Disney app, okay? Absolutely. The Disney Parks app, it, it's its unbelievable because on there you can actually go ahead and listen in on, on secret transmissions that are taking place while you're walking around. You can also go ahead and decode some of the Arabesh that you see on some of the buildings here And as what well. is Arabesh for those that are not familiar with Star Wars? So Arabesh is a language that they speak here on Batu. Okay. And also, just so you know, when you do get a chance to come here and you go and visit some of our cast members, whether it be in some of the nice restaurants or some of the stores in the marketplace they are the inhabitants here okay don't look at them funny when they don't seem to understand you because remember you're the foreigner in their land you know and I had that exact experience when I was visiting the marketplace um, and I was purchasing something and I went to go purchase something and they used a different uh, language they actually yes. asked if I had any credits and I was like, do I have credits? Credits for <laughs> a credit card? What? Credit card, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. but it was a great experience, you know, yes. and as mentioned, so immersive. Um, also, I want to talk about the spires, because okay. when you come here to Batu, you're going to notice along the skyline, all these spires, one of them yes. I know is about 130 feet tall, it's exactly. huge. Exactly, the Black Spire, no, so yes. this is this is the Black Spire outpost, and mm -hmm. what's nice is this area here is basically, we're literally, it's called Star Wars Galaxy's Edge because we are on the edge, the outermost, just before you actually start getting out there, and this is where a lot of smugglers, a lot of people doing some uh, jobs yeah. that are, you know, yeah. somewhat Maybe legitimate businesses and so under, forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, under the table kind of things, which yeah. happens a lot at Oga's Cantina, by the way. Uh -huh. They all come here, and that's why the Millennium Falcon is actually kind of nestled in a nice little secret place because that's where Hondo Naka will actually hire you, 
no experience needed to be a pilot to go ahead and make a couple of runs for him. So, okay. A little yeah. bit of on-the-job training, but not yeah. a lot. So you not can test bad. your pilot skills on which that. Which is cool, though, because yeah. of that. I mean, obviously, then you get to fly the Millennium yeah. Falcon, which is yes. great. Yes. Yeah. And, and the cool thing, so you call this a Black Spire, Black Spire Outpost. Yes. It's actually named after a spire specifically yes. um, here in the in land. Fact, when you walk in, you can't not miss it. It is, yeah. it is pretty... Uh, Pretty ominous, I guess you could say, but yeah. it is very, very cool. Now, also, when you do go there, there are some amazing places to go there. So, visit Dock Ondor's Antiquities. Yes. You can go in there. You can also go ahead and, you, I mean, you can make your own lightsaber. There are so many different things. You and can make your own droid, and that interacts yes. with you as you go in the droid the depot. Yes. And, and then I do want to cool. point out, too, that anyone who's a big fan of Star Wars and you're looking for those really neat, authentic uh, pieces that will remind you of each of the stories, uh, you will find them here. But also, if you're looking for something completely new, that you've never seen before, you're also going to find it here. So there literally is something for yes, everybody. Yes, there is. And, um, and even though you may not be familiar with Star Wars, you are going to so appreciate the authenticity and the beauty behind what has been created here. It is just absolutely mind-blowing. I, I do want to say, though, um, a very special to the spire to you, Eddie, because isn't that the saying here on Batu? Yes. Yeah, well or till the spire. Till the spire. Till the spire, everyone. Rising suns. Rising, Rising suns, suns is another yes. good one. We're speaking yes. a little Batonian. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> yes. Eddie, thank you so much. My uh, pleasure. Everyone, make sure you check out the Disney blog for all the information you need so you can make exactly. your out of the world visit and also go to Disneyland.com. Thank you so much for joining us right here on Sack Co. We will see you back here tomorrow as we continue to bring value home at 9 a.m. Eddie, I think we did good. I think at we did. The storm